WVTM 13 weather. Well, Hurricane Barrel is still a category for a hurricane. It's just south of Jamaica, now south of Kingston. And you can notice the eye is about right there. We see that category four mark. And it's possible that if this continues on its track, that west northwestward track, it could make its way just south of Jamaica. Whether or not it makes technical landfall or not, the potential damage could still be quite catastrophic. So we're keeping an eye out on that. Where is it going? Well, it's making its way west northwest at about 18 miles per hour wind gusts and speeds currently are around 145 miles per hour and it's going to weaken as it moves into an area with plenty of shear down to category three category two potentially category one once it makes its way to the Yucatan Peninsula down into a tropical storm before re-strengthening briefly before making landfall somewhere between northern Mexico and southern Texas. But back here at home in Birmingham, lots of cloud cover coming in from the south. Temperatures currently 85 by 2 p.m. will be in the mid 90s and by 5 p.m. the lower 90s. However, it could feel warmer than that because we have a heat advisory in effect for today and tomorrow. That means heat indices feels like 105 degrees plus Independence Day looks good and then we're going to be tracking some rain chances as we move into Friday. Let's see what's going on right now across Alabama 88 in Jasper 85 in Birmingham 86 in Coleman 85 in Haleyville and 89 degrees in Winfield. So yeah, it's hot. Make sure you stay hydrated. The satellite and radar shows plenty of cloud cover overhead, but if we make our way southward, we got some showers and rain trying to make its way north, but as it makes its way more and more northward, it starts to dissipate some and notice nothing severe out there. Barely any lightning strike too much dry air in the middle levels. But as we make our way through today and tomorrow, like I said before, heat advisory for most of Alabama, with the exception of places like Etowah, Calhoun and Clay County and eastward. Similar situation as we move into tomorrow because heat indices 105 plus. So make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure you take quite a lot of breaks through the day, both today and tomorrow. I know tomorrow you're going to be out barbecuing. So let's just plan your day tomorrow, right? So you're waking up in the mid to upper 70s, muggy outside, might want to get a head start on the grill. But as we move into the afternoon, temperatures soar to the mid 90s, feels like temperatures around 105. And then by the time we are ready to shoot those fireworks, only a 10% chance of rain. Most places will stay dry with temperatures still in the mid 80s. And all in all, chances of seeing rain tomorrow relatively low. Like I said, most will stay dry, typically around this time of year, specifically on the 4th of July. We only have about a 30% chance of seeing over a tenth of an inch of rain. Here's your seven day forecast as we move through the next three days, specific, specifically Thursday and Friday, showers and thunderstorms are possible. And then by next week, we'll be seeing temperatures in the mid 90s.